Um, brief musical history. So I started learning keyboard when I was in year one and I really didn't like it. And so I kind of left that for a while. And then in year four, I started learning saxophone and I've loved it like every, every day since. Um, so I went through the AMUV system up to grade six and then I went, oh, I don't like this at all. So I started playing jazz and I loved that. I love jazz. Um, and then composing didn't really come into my life until year 10. Um, I thought I was going to stop playing music and then I realised I could write my own music and I went, yeah, this is pretty cool. So I entered, in 2018 I entered the fanfare competition and I got highly commended, which was really cool, um, but it was based on my HSC major work, so it was very, you know, same, same. Um, after my HSC, I studied at ANU for a semester doing jazz saxophone and a little bit of composition on the side. There I kind of realised I wanted to be a high school music teacher and I realised, hey, I'm actually pretty good at composing. I think I could do this like full time. Um, so I came home after a semester and I got work at some primary schools doing conducting and tutoring and things like that. And I still do that now. Um, and then I tried out for the con and I now do composition and music education there, which is really cool. Um, so, oh yeah, these are some photos of me doing musical stuff. Um, I played Barry Sax with the Arts Unit um, Jazz Band for a while, which was really cool. We did Manly Jazz Festival. Um, the start of the year I did the um, Jazz Workshop Australia's Jazz Camp, which was also really cool. Um, and then the Romeo and Juliet reimagined um, composition thing with Paul Rissman back in 2018. That was also really great. Um, yeah. So, okay. I wrote a fanfare a while ago when I heard about the competition for this year. And it was very, um, I showed it to my tutor and she kind of described it as very like dated and masculine and generic and I kind of, I thought it was amazing and I listened back to it and I could hear everything she was saying because I tried to embed this musical cryptogram of all my, like my mothers and grandmothers and um, aunties names into it and using to kind of bring forward like the female voice but I had used like trumpets and drums and very like masculine instruments so it didn't really come out as feminine as I wanted so I scrapped the whole thing and I, um, I incorporated a saxophone in my new version because I'm a saxophonist and I wanted, to, wanted it to be more reflective of my voice so we'll have a listen to the, um, the new one of the instruments that I oh, yeah. actually you can keep talking through that one I'll okay. turn this one off okay uh, yeah I put in little pictures of the instruments that I find kind of pertain more to my compositional voice and femininity and whatnot the piece that kind of led me to go oh yeah I want to compose was um the wind catcher by Philip Glass and I know half of you are going to go, oh, I feel like glass. <laughs> um, I love it. It's so beautiful. Um, I write in like 6-8 a, a lot. And I write for saxophones a lot. And I like vibraphone a lot. So this kind of has the whole blendy, lilty, like saxophony, everything that I love. So I'll just play a little bit. I'm going to 
skip forward a bit. Yeah. Um, does anyone have? 